What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about the concept that's quite deep and very needy. Trading time for money. The value of trading your time for money is a hotly debated topic here on the internet. And one of the things is for the average person, once again, average person, we're not talking about someone that is set up, someone that has resources, someone that knows how these markets work. We're talking about the average person because the average person is who these things are aimed at. Recently, I clicked on the ad and I listened to it. It was a somewhat clever ad and he kept using two terms passive income and the ability to set up a passive income funnel. Now, here's the thing that's funny. He was talking about selling online courses, something that I do, something I've been doing for many years. And I can tell you, unless you do some things, selling online courses is not even close to passive income. It could be really good income. You can make a lot of money. You could do really well, but actually create the course, put it out there. And I'm going to tell you why it's not passive. And the, there's another guy who I will mention clients on demand. This is a guy, his name is Russ Rafino is curly hair and everything. And literally you will see every few months, he'll create a new commercial. He will do something new for his passive income business. And the thing is I feel, and this is my opinion that the average person is in that space where they don't know what they don't know. They have no clue to how things work. They have no clue to how things are set up or how things are put together. So I feel that the average person is easy bait for these types of duplicitous scams. Because Here's the thing. Everyone is trying to find some kind of passive income system, passive income business, passive income, where literally you go ahead, you put this thing together, it makes money, and then you walk away and you leave this thing over here and it continues to make money without you having to do anything else. Do these things exist? Absolutely, they do exist but they're not something that you can put together cheaply. And that's where these problems happen because if you had, let's say a million dollars, cash money to the side, you need that money to live on. You could take that million dollars and essentially buy yourself a business and buy yourself some passive income if you had the money. But this is where the problem really gets, it's just so bad. The persons that these things are aimed at do not have, number one, the awareness. They don't have the awareness of how these markets work. They don't have the awareness how these funnels work. They don't have the awareness of how to set up a passive income system. I will explain to you how I had set up a passive income system and it took a ton of work. It took a ton of time. 2017, I was doing some more manual deep consulting, working with clients and I actually kind of got away from my online course business and got into the consulting business. And this was after me marketing my online courses for years and years. We can go ahead and say from 2012 to 2017, I had systematically marketed my online courses. And all right, once again, you need to subscribe, you need to hit the bell notification button, and you need to watch this video three to four times. I have a lot of people who are looking for those older courses and you can't find them because I am not pushing them and I'm not selling them because I will explain in a minute why I'm not doing that. But for years and years, I had many YouTube videos, I had many taglines, things in the 
SEO things in the comments section for you guys to respond for you guys to buy stuff. So I did that for literally five years before I stopped and then I started working on the consulting model and it was crazy. It was crazy because I made about $150,000 that year of passive income. But if you look at what it took to set that up and $150,000 wasn't what I would make when I was actively working, actively marketing the courses. It was actually way less, but for the sake of this conversation, it was true path, passive income. I didn't have to do anything once I set it up, once I got it going, it just worked. But one of the things that you have to understand is I was a business person in business. And I will tell you as a business person who's in business, this opens up so many doors. This opens up so many possibilities. This opens up so many ways for you to make money when you're a business person in business and you have left the job situation. I've not had a job in 25 years. So I've been out of that situation for a very long time and it gives me the ability to sit down, think, concentrate, work on stuff without having to go to a job and without having to worry about having to have a job to provide me income so I can live. Now, this is one of the reasons I am not selling anything. A lot of people have asked me questions. I got a question about this course. I want you, one of the things is come April 1st, I am completely starting over. Not only have I reset the YouTube channels, but I'm gonna reset the training. It's gonna be all new. It's all gonna be dedicated to helping you get to your first road to help you make money. So that's why I'm not selling anything because with the day that I re-uploaded everything, there's a lot of training courses. There's a lot of stuff on this channel to help you make money. If you just sit down, listen, and first, listen. Second, apply the information. So there's a ton of information here and I'm getting ready to do something completely new. This is the reason that I'm not selling anything. But I've literally seen dozens and dozens of videos with the use of the word passive income. Day trading is passive income. Amazon FBA, it could be. Now I will say Amazon FBA could be a form of passive income after you get it set up, however long it takes you to get it set up to get the money going on. But once again, passive income, true passive income, and let's go ahead and talk about the definition of passive income. Passive income is income that you get for doing absolutely nothing. And that is a very hard thing for the average person to set up, for the average person to build. And once again, let's talk about passive income to live. You can go up today. You can go to open up a brokerage account and start buying yourself dividend producing stocks but you would need a million to produce enough dividends for you to live off. See, that, that's the whole thing. Passive income, making money, income streams. And I honestly only have about three income streams and I've seen that the average millionaire has seven income streams. And when I hear this stuff, you know how hard it is to set up one durable, that's the key word, durable. What does durable mean? Long-term, withstanding, something that you could put together in the last few years. It is very hard to set up a durable, passive income stream. Just one. So for these people who I have seven, I have 10, I have 12 income streams, I would say take pause and look at their income streams and look at how much money these income streams make. Because if you have money, and let's go ahead and talk about it. If you have millions and millions of dollars, that's more easy to do. That's more understanding. That's more durable to set up. 
But if you're just a regular person living a regular life with a regular income, this whole notion of running away from trading time for dollars is going to be very difficult for the average person. This is why I keep saying average person. I'm not talking about the exceptional person. I'm not talking about the famous person. I'm not talking about the person who has access to capital. I'm not talking about the well-connected person but the average person sitting at home right now just doing what they're doing, it's gonna be dramatically challenging for you to set up a long-term passive income play. Now, I'm not saying you can't do it. What I'm saying is it's gonna be difficult, challenging, and it's gonna take a lot of time or it's gonna take a lot of money. and. One of the reasons that I've never jumped into the passive income scam, in my opinion, most of the stuff, people who use the word passive income in their business are misspeaking because literally going back to this commercial I watched here on YouTube, the thing was selling online courses and online courses at some levels, it can be passive. If you build, and let me explain to you what you have to do to make online courses passive. Number one, you've got to build a durable marketing device. That's the first thing you got to do. You've got to build something that goes out to the public and say, Hey, I have this course that can help you do X, Y, and Z. That's the first thing you got to build. First thing, there's a lot of people who are talking about selling in online courses using organic traffic. This is something I have done since 2009 to 2022. And I'm going to tell you something. It's getting harder and harder to consistently. You can go ahead, create a YouTube channel, create a TikTok channel, create an Instagram page, create a Facebook group, and you can literally push out a course and make some money. Now, after that first wave, you will notice the second wave will be less and the third wave would be less. And after the fourth wave, it'll be less. And the fifth wave, you're probably not gonna wanna do. It is getting incredibly hard to sell online courses with durability. Like once again, you can sell up something, you can sell up a YouTube channel and you can sell up online courses. But the thing is, after that first wave, you're gonna find it challenging to continue to make money. There are people who talk about selling online courses using natural organic channel and train. But this is funny. All of these people are running ads. All of these people are running ads who are telling you that you can create a YouTube channel, you can create an Instagram page, you can create a Facebook page, you can create a TikTok. They're all running ads. And I'm gonna tell you why they're running ads. They're running ads because they know that organic tra traffic is fickle. Organic traffic will change on you in a heartbeat. And one of the things I'm getting ready to do, and this is going to be part of the training, is teach you guys how to get customers because that's a very important thing to do. And once you build a marketing device, whatever that, that is, that thing you ever, you, whatever you figure out, whatever you build, that is way more controllable than organic traffic. One of the things, if you've been around for me, I've reset the channel, I've gone through some trials and tribulations, and I've actually finally settled. This channel would be business only, and the other channel, which is nicknamed Doom, will be talking about current events. And then the third channel, I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do with that yet. But one of the things that you have to understand, and this is something from someone who's been selling stuff online for 14 years, that depending upon organic traffic can be very interesting, depending on what you're selling, depending on what you're trying to move, depending on what your product is. And I've made millions of dollars selling stuff organically. It's possible. But what I'm telling you is my first wave is always my biggest wave. And the second wave, it trickles down. And the third wave, it trickles down. That's what you deal with organic traffic. When you're dealing with paid traffic, you can go up each month because you can spend more money to reach more people. And this whole notion of 
the average person going from living an average lifestyle, from doing average stuff for average income to now build this magnificently large passive income business. And I have no problem with passive income. The words, I have no problem with that. I have problem with people incorrectly using the words because this is a marketing trick to get you to buy products could tell you that you could create this passive income business in literally two months. Why not spend the money? Yeah, if you could build a business that makes you money, you don't have to do nothing, you don't have to check anything. And I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot with selling online courses that these people do not talk about. There's a lot of little issues and things that happen with these online courses that are never brought up. Here's the thing. And this is something I've been thinking about. Until you change your methodology of how you live your life, because that's where it has to start. Until you get to the point where you can live a business lifestyle, meaning you gotta buy your own health insurance, there's no PTO, there's no vacation, until you get to the point where you can deal with all of that, it's gonna be extremely hard for you to build anything and i see these things it's like literally two or three weeks after joining this course and making this money ted gave his boss two weeks notice when i built my first successful business i had a job for eight months while i was doing that business i did not quit my job and this whole notion of quitting your job getting away from trading hours for money is possible it's something you can do but it takes time it takes a lot of time. And this is one of the things that I consistently do not see that's mentioned in any of these marketing tactics. I don't see any of this. Right now, if you want to escape the process of trading time for dollars, you have to learn how to build value. And that will be in an upcoming video, which you should be ready because you subscribed, you hit the bell notification, and you watch this video two or three times. So what I want you to do is subscribe. So when I drop these diamonds and these, because once again, this isn't information that I am thinking about. This isn't information that I've studied. This is information that is brought to me from running and doing business. And that's why I can sit here so confidently and tell you that the majority of the people who are selling a passive income technique are pretty much con artists. If they're using these words that, hey, you do this, you can get passive income, and you can quit your job in 30 days, more than likely it's a scam or a con job. More than likely that's what you're dealing with. And I don't want you to waste your money, to waste your time on these passive income hacks. Because once you build true passive income, once you build a sustainable business model, something that you enjoy doing, it's gonna to be totally different. So once again, I don't know when this video is gonna drop because I'm actually ahead, but 1st of April, we're gonna be talking about the new things that are coming out, the new things that we're gonna do, and the new gyms that are gonna be coming to you. All right, this is Glendon Cameron. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you'll be back and hopefully you subscribe and make sure you watch this video two or three times so you can get each and every gem. See you in the next one.